We will, we will, we will be free for when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter. Parliament comes crashing down with Boris rules of order. Yeah, okay, I ask you, right. I ask yeah, you yeah, now. Yeah, I got confused. I'm sorry. I'm in a, I'm in a lot of pain. This is the 10th. It's the 10th, and I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> you women don't suffer the way we men suffer. We have labor and pains. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Anyway. I'm waiting for the Kratom to kick in, but the uh, Kratom really isn't... More quorum questions. Oh. Ick, Ick, ready? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. If it can be proven exactly yes. when the quorum was no longer present. Yes. Things happen after that are void. The point of order relating to the absence of the quorum. Mm -hmm. A, is not permitted to affect prior action. No, wrong. B, can be given effect retrospectively by ruling of the presiding officer subject to appeal. C, automakes, automatically makes prior action null and void. Or D, has no effect on the status of a question pending when the meeting adjourns for lack of a quorum. Oh, God, that's weird. Okay. All right. They, you can prove exactly when quorum was lost in right. the past. Correct. Okay. So what is A again? Okay. A. Okay. If, if that is, if that, okay. If you know when that happened. Yeah. Right. This is about a point of order relating to the absence of a quorum. Right. Okay. A, is not permitted to affect prior action. That's not true. Okay. B, can be given effect retrospectively by ruling of the presiding officer subject to appeal. I think it's B. C, automatically makes prior action null and void. But I think it requires a ruling of the chair. See, B and C are kind of weird. There's some technical difference yeah. there that I'm not getting. Okay. D, has no effect on the status of a question pending when the meeting adjourns for lack of a quorum. What's it mean on the status of a question pending? I could be that too. I'm gonna guess B. It is B. Okay, good. Yeah, and I, 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 I know why it's B on here without even looking it up. Well, I know. It's a point of order requires a ruling of the right, chair. Right, right, <laughs> that right. That simple. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's a quorum or not or whatever, it needs a ruling of the yeah. chair. Yeah, but and the ruling can be that certain actions are void. Sure. If it can but it's be not proven. automatic. Right, it's not automatic. Right. But if the chair rules that right. the stuff can be given, in fact, retrospective, you can still appeal that because it should have been on right. right. But so, I don't know what D even means. Like, I think D is like, right? I think like, but I'm not sure what no it means. There's no effect on the status of a question pending. Like, whether what it's pending. Like, what's that mean? I think it means like if it's what, what its state is on the floor or whether it's in the middle of an amendment or anything like that. Yeah, and it would because if there was no quorum, you can't do anything with a pending. Right, question. it's basically frozen. Right. Yeah. Okay, so... So, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, for me, it was simple. Because it's a point of order. It needs a ruling of the chair okay. to be. I've okay. drank three of these now, so I'm a little... Eh. I've got numbness in the liver. <laughs> three, oh, don't forget to... I've got 349. Okay, just making sure. Yes. This is under quorum, which is section 40. Manner of enforcing the quorum requirement. It's like the uh, second major paragraph in that section. I got it. Okay, hang on. I'm reaching across and marking the, marking your score, and you're up two on me now. And yes, David Davis, delegated voting does sound like some Democrats and Republicans would do in Congress. They do do it. They delegate it to staffers. It is a process which is allowed under their rules, and it should be eliminated because some of the staffers for some of these Congress people are as dumb as the Congress people. AOC, I'm looking at you. And no, I don't want to date you. I don't date outside my species. <laughs> She's adorable, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, for a pony. <laughs> no, she's hottie, man. She's a hottie. Not to me. <laughs> so it's the... Um, it says, Second paragraph. Yep, the last something. You're going to read it? Yeah, as soon as I find where it is. Here it is. Okay. Uh, because of the difficulty re likely to be encountered in determining exactly how long the meeting has been without a quorum in such cases, a point of order relating to the absence of a quorum is generally not permitted to affect prior action but upon clear and convincing proof, such a point of order can be given effect 
retrospectively by a ruling of the presiding yeah. officer subject to appeal. Aster there's an asterisk yeah. here. What happens to the question that is pending oh. when a meeting adjourns because of the loss of quorum or any K reason is determined by the rules given on a different page. If such a question, however, was introduced as new business and it is proven that there is already no yeah. quorum when it was introduced, its introduction was invalid and to be considered at a later meeting it must be, brought, must up be brought up again as new business. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying Pardon to say. Pardon a little yeah. hiccup there. Um, and that is section that makes sense. 4012 and the 12th. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm, hurts. Okay. Yeah. As the day goes on, it gets worse. All oh, right. yeah. We're, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. But I think I got to pee. So I might have to, like, take a break. Fever! Let's hear the opposition side Like a stubborn donkey's bray All opposed? You say nay! Opposed! Opposed! The motion carries anyway!